morning, Trainiacs. We have just sent away the first draft of the How to Swim Foundations booklet for editing. It's exciting stuff. Now this is for beginner triathletes. This is for like, this is pre-joining a master swim group or pre-joining a triathlon swim club or pre-Tower 26 or pre-Team Trainiac. And what it's forcing me to do is think back to before I was able to join a master's group or any of those kinds of clubs, how did I swim and what are the common issues that new triathletes face? One of the things that came to mind that I realized, holy smokes, I have never done a video on this, is sinky legs. I'm Captain Sinky Legs. I got muscular legs. Yet, I've been able to get my heels at the water and not feel like I'm sinking. How do we do that? That's what we're talking about today. Forget orange kickboards being the fastest kickboard around. Camouflage kickboards. I gotta hide this. That was 2300 floaty pants meters with some non sinky legs. Let's chat about fixing that. It's a huge change. It's gonna change your whole swimming, it's gonna change your whole triathlon life. I say a lot of very sensationalized things like that, but this might be true. So Trainiacs, this is really getting to me, the fact that I have let this whole channel go for four years and I have yet to do a video about how to fix sinking legs in swimming. I'm ashamed of myself. Nearly every triathlete encounters this. I encountered it. It's one of the most common things that new triathletes experience. Pete. It's one of the most common things that new triathletes experience and it's one of the first things that new triathletes need to fix before they start joining a master swim group or a triathlon swim group or team trainiac because if you are pushing through the water like this there is no workout in the world that's going to help you you're just going to be reinforcing that sense of panic that inability to breathe calmly, and you're gonna be wasting a ton of energy just getting all this drag through the water. Now, you might be saying something like I said when I was first starting swimming. You might be saying, well, look, I'm, I'm super muscular. I've got really thick legs. I'm a sinker. Well, look at, say, Cam Worf. Cam Worf has really thick muscular legs from a lifetime of professional cycling and rowing. Very thick guy and he's coming out front pack in Kona. Not convinced yet and saying well he's an anomaly. Jim Lubinsky is one of the coaches of Tower 26. He was a hockey player and still if you look at him right now you would say oh my goodness he is a huge dude. He swims quite well under 30 minutes for a half Ironman. Andrew Talansky, former pro cyclist. You look at his hips and it's like tiny little guy and then boom, he's got these big quads. Me, I got my heels kicking coming out of the water regularly. It's not about the muscle density in your legs dragging you down. It's about the inability to have your body awareness such that your feet come up close to the water and your heels can kick past the surface. Now, if you're not sure what this looks like and you are wondering if you've got sinky legs, do you feel slightly out of breath? Do you feel like you need to push really hard but you don't move nearly as fast as people in the water? Or if you're really sophisticated, take some pictures or video of yourself from under the water and if it looks like these pictures here where if there's any point whatsoever where your knee is significantly lower than your hips, where your feet are lower than your knees, these are indications that you have sinky legs and you've got work to do to overcome it. 
I'm gonna go over here and show you how to fix this. So before you start doing workouts, you need to build the comfort and the capability to just be in the water and actually be calm and function instead of thrash. And how we do this is by developing our breathing pattern properly. And you do that by, I will link to a video at the end of the video showing the three step process to do that. And then once you've done that and you don't feel like you have a lack of breath, you need to develop the ability to get your butt up close to the surface of the water and get your heels at the surface of the water. And why I'm here is how you do that is instead of swimming, you go to the edge of the pool, place your hands at the edge of the pool, stick your face in the water, get your legs in behind you, and just start kicking as gently as you can to keep your heels at the surface of the water. You're going to find that you don't have to thrash very much. Now there's a series of progressive drills that we've got in a foundation swim book that I am creating right now. And we'll show a few of them here. So you progress from hands on the edge of the pool deck, sticking your face in the water, kicking gently to doing that with just one hand on the edge of the pool deck and breathing out to the side. Then you gradually push off of the side of the pool and then you do that same drill without doing any arm strokes and you gradually progress from doing little bits of drills where you are able to focus on getting your heels out of the surface of the water your butt cheeks just out of the surface of the water and what you're going to find is that essentially it's just like floating you have to train yourself however how to float because it doesn't come naturally to us so what I recommend you do is if you are, or you can lie down there. This guy. So what I recommend you do is if you can't yet swim 400 meters or yards continuously without feeling out of breath or feeling like you need to take a more than just like a tiny little push off on the wall. If you need a fair bit of a rest at each turn on the wall, you need to develop the comfort and the capability to swim before you start working out. For that, I'd recommend going to triathlonterran.com forward slash swim drill program. It's a free swim drill program that'll teach you how to be comfortable, catch your breath in the water, and float across the surface of the water. Also, you hear about the new foundations of swimming book that I'm coming out with? Might be maybe a month or two away, only people who are subscribed to that triathlonterran.com swim drill program will hear about that. And it's gonna be like pretty inexpensive, like 20 or 30 bucks. So then if you are one of those athletes who can't yet swim that 400, before you ever do another workout, start breaking it down and just focus on the comfort and capability of floating and breathing properly. You can swim that 400, but you feel like you need to work on your sinky legs instead of taking a full step back from swimming. Instead, just do some drills during your warm up, doing say 25 drill, 25 swim, or 50 drill, 50 swim, where you're going back to back from the drill to the swim so that you can feel that sensation that you want to with the drill and then gradually pull it into your swim. And over the course of many months, this is really going to help you. So, like I say, go to triathlonterran.com forward slash swim drill program to learn how to breathe easier, how not to have sinky legs, and if you want just the three-step process for how to breathe easier, go check out the video right here. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. I promise I won't take another four years to come up with videos that everyone has issues with. All right, later trainiacs.